a teacher has five different poetry books so let me just write here five uh, poetry and then four different drama uh, dramas so let me just say four drama and then uh, three novels so let me just write three novels here and then she must arrange these 12 books from left to right on the shelf fine uh, 12.2.1 says write down the probability that a novel will be the first book placed on the shelf so she has these 12 books right she puts a blindfold on what's the probability that she will pick a novel she has 12 options right and of those 12 three are novels so the probability of her picking a novel will be three divided by 12 right and then 12.2.2 2 says calculate the number of different ways uh, these 12 books can be placed on the shelf if any book can be placed in any position so when she wants to pick uh, the first book right she has 12 options and then when she want to pick the second book she has 11 options right and then uh, the third she is 10 and so on until she's only left with one book and she has one option of how she can arrange it right so basically the answer here we have 12 factorial right uh, which will be equals to some number you can just put that on your calculator and then 12.2.3 says that uh, calculate the probability that a poetry book is placed in the first position uh, the three novels are placed next to each other and the drama is placed in the last position okay so right we've already established that if you want to peg all the books you have 12 factorials right because you have 12 position 12 11 10 going down until you're only left with one position right on our numerator we're gonna have the probability of the events we are interested in the first case is placing a poetry book first so how many poetry books we have we have five right so the probability here will be five because we have five poetry books and then the next event says uh three novels are placed next to each other so how can you place three novels next to each other you can place them in three factorial ways right so we're gonna have multiply by three factorial because you can start with the first one start with the second one or the third one and then the second position so on so we have three factorial ways of putting three novel books and then the next case is a drama is placed in the last position right so we have four drama books right and then we want the probability of placing them in the last position the probability of placing the four drama books on the last position will be four right so it's just the number of the drama books just like the probability of placing a poetry was just the number of poetry books so when we have placed this book we still need to place the rest of the books right so in position number one we have placed uh, is a drama we have placed a poetry book right and then in position number 12 we have placed a what um a drama book right so we have drama here so we are left with um 10 positions here right of these 10 positions uh we need three novels to be following each other right so we're gonna be left with basically seven position plus a bundle of three a uh, novel that we need to be placed uh, next to each other right so how can we fill these eight positions that are left right we can fill this eight position in eight factorial ways so here what's going to be left let me just erase this i uh, will be multiplied by eight factorial and then if you put that in your calculator you're going to get your answer